Good evening. I'm Vicki Dorn. And I'm Rick Van Hoos. Supporters of a new bill in Frankfurt say they're targeting violent crime, but some activists say it's aimed at them for taking action against injustice. House Bill 313 could limit the ability of groups to bail out inmates who cannot afford to post bond. WLKY's Mark Vanderhoff takes a closer look at the proposal. A co-sponsor of this bill, Louisville Republican Jason Nemes says it's necessary because there have been several instances in which these bail groups have gotten people out of Louisville Metro Corrections, people who have gone on to commit highly publicized violent crimes. So this bill is, is, uh, was brought to us by uh, the Mothers Against Drunk Driving in situations that occurred in Louisville where a young lady, a 16-year-old lady, lost her life to an individual who should have remained in jail but was bailed out by one of these companies. The case lawmaker Jason Nemus is referring to involved Butler High School cheerleader Madeline Trout. Michael DeWitt has been charged with her murder and is accused of driving a stolen car while high when he crashed into Trout. And Mr. DeWitt should have been in prison, should have been in jail. He had a, he had a violent history, violent past. Under House Bill 313, Groups such as the Louisville Bail Project and Louisville Community Bail Fund would no longer be able to post bail for people accused of violent crimes. It's a lot of things that go into getting people out. We're not just like, oh, hey, let's just get this person out. We have a really full-on conversation with them and let them know. And there are absolutely some people that we cannot get out of jail due to their crime um, and their behavior, really. Chanel Helm, co-founder of the Louisville Bail Project, says lawmakers are ignoring the bigger problem. Bail hurts the poor the most and often causes them to lose their jobs. That's what we're seeing the most. We are seeing people call out for help. Um, they're using our line not only just to bail people out, they're using it to talk to someone. Mothers are trying to figure out how they can take care of their families, how families can get support in this. Everybody's broken apart. Nemus notes he supports cash bail reform. But when we're talking about public safety, when we're talking about violent criminals, especially in the domestic violence area, a corporation should not be bailing them out. Now, right now, the language in the bill appears to ban all charitable bail organizations. Nima says that a committee substitute with the new language that he discussed will be coming out when that bill gets a committee hearing. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY 